Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our beloved lecturer, Professor Madya Nurihataib. I really hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy during this hard time. Today, we would like to present our proposal and the topic we choose is students' perceptions on open and distance learning ODL during COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Wanur Hana Nazira binti Wanawang. I will explain about the methodology and a little bit of questions. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Anissa binti Samadi. I will present for the part of the problem statement and research question. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Kalisa binti Ahmad Zawawi. I will present the significance of the study and the limitation of the study. Hello, my name is Azuria and my part is on the introduction and objectives of the study. ODL stands for Open and Distance Learning. ODL is a method of learning remotely without the face-to-face -face guidance with lecturers. All classes at UITM campuses nationwide have been switched to ODL mode from 30th April 2020. This situation is the result from the newly discovered disease that is coronavirus COVID-19. Following an evaluation of the deadly virus rapid spread and impact around the world, the Director General World Health Organization declared COVID-19 is a pandemic in March 2020. Along with the declaration of social distancing as a way of controlling the pandemic spread. This pandemic has forced universal physical shutdown of businesses, sport activities and schools by pushing all institutions to switch to online platforms. Learning involves the use of the internet and some other essential technologies to develop materials for educational content, instructional delivery, and program management. Thanks to technological advancements, because students can now study completely online while still engaging in social with friends, attending lecturers, and participating in subject-specific discussions. However, some students without stable internet connection and or technology appliances struggle to take part in online learning. Online learning is viewed as lacking in interactivity, mostly because of the lack of social presence, social interaction, and student satisfaction. Right in this slide, I will continue in explaining on the problem statement of the studies. As we notice about the news I attached here, yes, the learning methods of the current situation right now needs to embrace with the online learning and teaching by the students and lecturer during a pandemic that have been instructed by our Ministry of Higher Education to assess in the spread of the COVID-19 so that the health and well-being of all is guaranteed. And because of that, most of students and lecturer are agree with the ODL or online learning implementation and should continue at least until the COVID-19 situation is under control. However, by looking at the points of the problem statement here, the first one, uh, ODL may a students being independent without face-to-face -face communication with their lecturer and classmate and expected failure can influence the performance of students which is both academic and also social interaction performance. The second one, MCO announcement is the reason of the ODL implementation. Thus, it affects some students who are just starting a new semester to stay at home and make them difficult to adapt. These statements are based on our observation through a media social slash, such as Instagram and Twitter, where there are many students are complain about the ODL during the MCO via a posting a video and create a statement are uh, in expressing their feelings in undergo the ODL difficulties. So here is the example. First one, they said they had online classes. Uh, classes. Then uh, some of students said the online learning give them a mentally exhausted. And one of the students said uh, the network data that have been by are not enough for the purpose of the online learning. And online learning uh, is more exhausted if if compared with the face to face learning methods. And because of the students are faced in front of the PC or laptop for a long hours, 
uh, for the purpose of finish assignment or attending the lesson, it affect their health, which is they feel sick. And lastly, is here the example of the posting video that have been created by the one of the students that face with the ODL. And because of we have conduct the online learning, uh, learning methods of more than one year, there is some students seem to be fine to face again with the ODL. And lastly, online learning platforms such as Google Classroom and Google Meets allow the students to participate in online learning with their lecturer. And most of them are referred to their lecturer in which the online learning platform that he or she are preferred to use until the end of the semester. Okay, in response with the problem statement here, we are focusing on understanding whether the student's environment change when experiencing with the ODL during a pandemic and also uh, whether the ODL method is a good or bad to use based on the student perception. Alright, in this slide is about research question. The research question show have prompted us to conduct the study about open and distance learning during a pandemic COVID-19. So the first research question is how online learning during a pandemic COVID-19 can affect a student's experience and expectation after sudden change of the learning methods. The second one, what are the most common and least popular online learning platform of studying for UITM students while engaging with the online learning during a pandemic situation? There is a lot of the online learning platform that can be used and every university have their own style and method in which the online learning platform they are mostly suitable to use. The third one, which one of the learning method that the most students prefer is either face-to-face -face learning method or online learning methods. Even though we have we can predict that almost students will prefer face-to-face uh, -face learning method, but it still can be a question mark. Either there is a students who are prefer ODL uh, because of the certain reason. For example, uh, maybe by ODL, students have a lot of time uh, in finish their assignment. The last one is uh, what kinds of challenge students face while working on the assignment and attending the online learning uh, lecture during a COVID-19 situation. Is it about the environment or network factor that made the ODL difficult? So all of the research questions uh, help us to identify the objective of the studies that will be presented by Azu. Thank you. of this study is to investigate students' perception on ODL during COVID-19 among students of different courses at UITM Shalam. There are four objectives of this study. First, to determine the students' performance during ODL in COVID-19 pandemic. Secondly, to identify the most popular online platform used during ODL for the teaching and learning. Next, to recognize students' perception on ODL. Lastly, to identify problems encountered by students and lecturers while engaging the ODL session. Significant of the study. The findings are important as all universities in Malaysia are used this ODL method to continue the lesson during the COVID-19 pandemic. This situation will help university to determine the current student status, to know the obstacles and the challenges that a student faces, during the ODL. The finding also to identify the potential solution to overcome the online learning struggles. And lastly, the finding uh, to give student benefit with the presence of information online platform that are commonly used in Malaysia uh, such as WhatsApp, Zoom and else. Therefore, Students can improve themselves when they complete their semester. And the uh, online learning also can properly function. Limitation of the study. There are several limitations in this study. The use of technology in online and face-to-face -face class contact has the ability to improve the learning experience. For the sake of brevity and the 
limited time, we only focus on student perceptions and not the lecturer perceptions. The samples are too small. Since we only focus on UITM Shah Alam students, the results cannot are not applicable to all university students in Malaysia. Next is methodology. This study will be conducted at UITM Shah Alam. The questionnaire will be distributed to the all UITM students who is participate in the online learning due to COVID-19 via Google Form. Google Form will be used because according to nowadays condition, we can't go out. So this method will be the most suitable to collect data about students' perceptions during ODM. And the survey was targeted to all UITM students, regardless of their faculty, explored approximately 50 students in total to know about their perceptions during ODL. And the, the feedback from Google form will be tabulated and analyzed using frequency count and percentage. I will present a few of questions that we will put in the Google form. First, to investigate whether ODL is effective or not based on student performance. Question number one is, are you involved in any activities or events during ODL? And the answer will be yes or no. Second is, how's your interaction between group members during discussion, bad or good? And for the second is, to obtain which platform are most used during ODL among students? First is, in last two ODL, how many subjects use these platforms? State the number. And the second is, which do you find more effective in terms of teaching and learning process? Choose platform above that we will list, such as WhatsApp, Google Classroom, UFuture, and Microsoft Teams. Next, to figure out student preference on online learning, which is online learning or face-to-face. -face. First, which one is more effective to learn about the assigned topics? And the second, which one easily finish the assignment given? And the answer will be face-to-face -face or online learning. Okay, last but not least, by asking by kind, what kind of problems that student face during online learning? First, do you have any problems during ODL? And what kind of problems? The problems will be listed so the students will be choose. And how much time can you focus during online class? And the time also will be listed so the student will be choose. That's all from our group. Thank you. Have a nice day.